Hi all, welcome to the first part of the video lecture on indexing structures for files. If you are looking at the previous videos, you can see topics like uh, the different ways by which a typical database file can be organized in the secondary memory right? the different physical file organization techniques were what we discussed so far uh, so for example if you want you can order the records say with respect to a particular field or you can sort them and you can uh, keep them in that way or you can simply keep them without any ordering so accordingly we have an unordered file organization as well as ordered file organization unordered file organization something otherwise called as heap uh, heap organization right ordered uh, also we gone through and their difficulty how this insertion deletion those things are happening there and another uh, topic where that we discuss is how we can store file uh, using that hashing technique okay and there itself we discuss some uh, uh, dynamic hashing uh, techniques like uh, ex extendable hashing and all okay so that is what we discuss so far now we are going to see so we have a primary file organization that can be ordered organization some ordered file unordered file or hash organization something we are already having now in addition to that we are going to provide a secondary access structure or, or one more so that is what what is this in the index uh, indexing says okay so index typically is just like you know uh, say in the textbook this uh, information is organized in in different pages and all but we will keep an additional index page right and in that index page uh, you will maintain some keywords right and keywords and page numbers something like that and so this is going to help you to, uh, something like a faster access so look at the keyword that you are interested in look you will get the page number now you can directly go to that page okay something similar to that here also we are doing so we have a primary file organization where the files can be ordered unordered or some may be stored uh, the files in the secondary memory so definitely information will be stored uh, into different buckets or blocks or something so uh, for the time being that's assumed that you need to be block now what we will do is uh, so corresponds corresponding to each block there will be a number of records right so if things are sorted and all what we can do do is uh, so for example uh, the first field is something like uh, um, the employee number and uh, remaining fields are uh, going to call, keep the details of the employee so there are many fields so if you are focusing on this employee number and suppose that we already ordered this file with respect to this employee, employee number for example so that you will get employee numbers like 100 101 example okay so for example this is going to contain some 100 records so up to 199 and the, here you can see 200 201 uh, like that okay so some 299 so like that you will keep on uh, keeping all the employee records <coughs> don't expect that this is going to be continuous but the uh, thing is that uh, this employee number two things what i'm uh, trying to say uh, is our um, key attribute okay so this is our key attribute for uh, for example and also it is ordered okay so keep these two things in mind so it is key attribute and also it is ordered so uh, what happened um, you will get them in order right so and as it is key uh, th there will, will not be two records with the same employee number field okay and you know how many records can be there in a single record in a single block so something we already defined as blocking factor so here you can see the blocking factor is found to be some 100 in the sense 100 to on, uh, 199 records i mean if uh, assume that all are available like that okay so similarly uh, let it be the uh, say last block say let me call it as a 10th block and here it is going to contain informations uh, what will be 901 to 999 something like that assume that all employees uh, having all um, employee numbers are available say 100 to 999 for example i'm just taking an example only. now what you can do is in the index table just like the um, in the in your textbook and you are maintaining that index page you are using the key, uh, keeping that keyword and page number okay something similar to that here what you can do is uh, you can keep the um, this particular uh, employee number field alone but see along with this employee number here we are storing the employee name address uh, salary uh, right uh, manager as i said like that all fields uh, corresponding to each employee you are storing the, because this is the actual primary file organization so wha what is this this is your um, what i can tell this whole thing is your primary file organization organization and uh, here we assumed a ordered uh, file okay so this is one way okay and uh, now what you're going to keep here is uh, like uh, for the first employee 
uh, the employee number field is say 100 so this is something acting like a uh, that keyword which you are using in the textbook uh, something like that and you will maintain just like the page number you will maintain a pointer to this particular block okay now uh, for the second block uh, the uh, the very first record typically we call it as the anger record okay mm, anger record uh, every block uh, we have an anger record for example here this is the anger record okay so like that uh, here this is the anger record and uh, we are going to keep entry corresponding to anger record say here uh, let me write this thing so uh, this is the first entry uh, of the index table now in the second entry uh, what we will maintain uh, we will maintain the anger record uh, that particular information that is 200 uh, i mean the particular key value okay so uh, with respect to which attribute you are going to maintain this uh, index table here we are going to maintain index table with respect to the employee number field so that's why i'm keeping like this so this is going to point like this and finally you know uh, the last entry and here we have a uh, 10 blocks uh, like that because uh, totally we are having some uh, thousand records okay so here i am having uh, some 100 to 999 it is not thousand some 900 records okay i started from 100 okay so there are around 900 records you can see uh, totally in uh, in our file so i'm just taking an example and here it will be 901 and this is going to point uh, this particular block okay so it is enough to keep me uh, keep a single pointer to a block because see within a block the elements are so ordered right suppose uh, my query is like i want to know details about the employee say having employee number um, say 105 what you can do 105 is a value between this 100 and 200 so definitely this is going to be available if it is available it will be there in the block pointed by 100 so that kind of a hint we are having okay so this is uh, because of this uh, these two properties because uh, we are maintaining index table with respect to the key attribute and it is ordered also because of these two things i am able to maintain uh, what i can say i am able to maintain uh, one index table entry per block okay so this is basically what we call as a uh, so let me write and this is our index table okay index table and the index table is typically uh, very small in size in the sense for example here the actual record so if you are looking at this particular record uh, you might see in like uh, this is of size so this is going to contain all uh, details of the employee right so this is uh, going to have that employee number employee address employee name uh, the department number manager assistant so like that all those things are there okay so th this will be of some huge size uh, uh, let me take say this is of some 100 uh, so all are getting 100 right so let me take a different value so this is of some 80 byte okay so there are 80 bytes uh, that, that means so each and every record so there are 100 records 80 bytes each okay something like this now if you are looking at the index table you can see uh, this uh, entry is going to contain only two things right the first thing is this employee number so 80 by this for the entire record employee number will be of some uh, smaller value for example let me take uh, employee number to be of say uh, 9 byte i am taking an example and this block pointer so here you can see something like so what is this this is our block pointer it is point into the block containing the anchor record having key value as 901 so okay so this block pointer is going to take some space right so the uh, bits so let it be some six byte so that a particular entry in the index table is just uh, 15 byte only in my example okay so now you can see how small is this index table okay so uh, keep this in mind so this is what is happening so the the type of uh, indexing i explained here is uh, known to be primary indexing primary indexing anyway i thought of giving you some, some theory then take this example but anyway <laughs> somehow i started with this example uh, even though it, uh, i hope you got it right so let me just tell you a uh, few more things so uh, wh what happened here is i made that indexing with respect to a key attribute and it is an ordered attribute also okay now you can think about indexing which you are doing for an attribute and there is no guarantee that the attribute is going to be the key attribute it can be a non-key attribute also now it can be ordered or unordered right so accordingly def uh, you, you are going to get a classification for indexing so let me tell you that so if you are looking at indexing uh, if we are doing indexing on a ordered attribute 
what kind of index table you are going to get and another thing is you can think about indexing on an attribute which is unordered okay now order itself you can think about uh, indexing with respect to a key attribute and with respect to a non key attribute now what we seen so far is i ha i made an index i mean this particular example specifically this is a key attribute and it in the sense it is going to be unique for each and every record and we are uh, we sorted or we uh, the records are ordered with respect to this attribute and we made indexing with respect to that attribute particularly i mean the indexing is done with respect to this en no right and this is our block pointer okay so this is our block pointer this is what we see now mark like this this is my index table so if that is the case key in the sense typically it is a primary key so you can call it as the primary indexing okay so you don't have to take some other key because uh, ordering and key it is better to take a single attribute so let it be the primary key so in that way you can call it as the primary index uh, not only because of that even though you are using some other key attribute uh, which uh, um, you know, which may not be the primary key of the attribute still you, you call this kind of an indexing as primary indexing because mm, what i can tell you uh, so first you te tell me about that ordering you, it is not possible for you to order the records with respect to more than one field right so here these records are going to contain employee number employee name uh, address etc you can either order all records with respect to employee number or you can order all records with respect to employee name or some other attribute right but uh, ordering with respect to um, everything together it's not going to work okay so I, I mean you got it right so you can <laughs> you are going to sort the records so that will be with respect to a single attribute and if it is a key attribute also we can call it as a primary index in that one can think about okay so uh, it's not possible for you to have a more than one primary index so if you are making primary index with respect to a field we have this condition like it should be key as well as it is ordered so when uh, but uh, within a uh, database file there is only one attribute having these two property right so if you ordered with respect to one attribute and it is key attribute also you can make a indexing like this but it is not possible to have a similar indexing with respect to some attribute because that is not going to be ordered because we already ordered with respect to this attribute hope you got it yeah that about it uh, now this is what we call as primary indexing now uh, think about uh, a database file which is ordered right but with respect to uh, sorry it's not non attribute it is non key attribute we ordered the files with respect to an attribute which is a which is not a key okay so let me call it as a non key attribute now how it is going to behave so you can see right so so for example name of the employee different employees are going to have the same name right or unique name that is up to the um, requirement of the application okay but uh, if the situation is like uh, the name attribute is but i can say it is a uh, unique so in uh, sorry in, in the name i am allowing a name to be uh, repeated okay so the two people uh, in an organization can have same name if that is the case there may be n number of people can have the same name and uh, once you order them because we are already talking about ordered indexing right once you order them what you can see that all these uh, people uh, or the records having same name will come together and it is going to form a cluster right you, you can see different different clusters the cluster in the sense just a group uh, after ordering same name people will come together right so uh, one after the another you can see different clusters and each cluster is going to contain records of similar name say similar attribute okay similar attribute value so we call it as something like a clustered indexing okay now the main difference is uh, something like what we done here in the primary index is uh, we maintain maintained an index table entry per what i can say per block of database file so here you can see this is my database file and it is having some say 10 uh, so sorry 100 200 like that 900 there are nine uh, blocks okay so per block we are maintaining a the index table entry because 
that I already told you, suppose I need a search uh, for an attribute like oh, node 5 or on 10, you, can, you are having the assurance that if it is available, it is going to be available in this particular uh, block because it is a value between 100 and 200. So that way you can search any information with that idea on background. So it is enough to maintain a pointer per each and every block. Okay, now think about the situation that it is not ordered. Then you can't maintain a block, uh, I mean pointer per block in the sense uh, you don't know where these records are going to be mm, placed, right? I hope you got it. Uh, anyway, otherwise if you see more examples, it will be clear. So anyway, this here you are uh, actually maintaining a pointer per each and every block. But when it comes to clustered index, the problem is uh, we are indexing with respect to an uh, attribute which is non-key and it is ordered also. So suppose name of the employee, you don't know whether this cluster uh, in the sense uh, the people having or the records having same name is going to spread across a single block or uh, two blocks or some uh, group of blocks okay sometimes it may be mm, within a block only it may be a single value also we don't have any guarantee so it is not a good idea to keep a block pointer because uh, we don't know whether that information is going to be available in this block or in the next block or uh, right so it is always better to keep a pointer per index pointer per each and every so i can say this is my index table and in this uh, this employee number is our indexing attribute right the attribute with respect to which you done this uh, indexing and this block pointer is our uh, index pointer index pointer so here in this example it is enough to maintain index pointer as the block pointer right uh, i mean uh, the no, uh, how many blocks are there then that many index table entries are there but if it is uh, something like a clustered index where you are doing this indexing with respect to a non key attribute and the cluster may spread across one block or more than one block so in that case we are typically maintain this uh, pointer that also block pointer only but we will maintain that block pointer per each and every unique name per cluster we are going to maintain a uh, in index table entry something like that anyway we will see more examples so here indexing may uh, maintained per cluster let me write like that or per each unique index value okay so how many unique value each unique index value say nine is going to make a cluster right so like that now the last category, I mean, uh, suppose you can think about indexing and which is purely on an unordered attribute there itself, uh, whether it is a key attribute or non-key attribute. The problem here is as we are not going to store uh, the database records with respect to this particular attribute. We just uh, taken some attribute, it can be employee number, department number, anything, but there is no ordering you can expect in the database file with respect to that attribute. Okay. so. With respect to that attribute, you can't say that, uh, like, um, mm, for example, here, you know, whenever a new record is coming, say, 105, you know very clearly because 105 is between 100 and 200. So, mm, it will be in the block pointed by this particular pointer because the, the fields are ordered with respect to this attribute. Now, if it is not ordered with respect to this attribute, whenever a new record is, uh, I mean, you want to make a search for a record, say, with a key value, sorry, add the index uh, index uh, indexing value as 105, you don't know whether it is available in the first block or second block, it can be there in any block. So accordingly, you don't have any shortcut, like what you have to do is you have to maintain a index table entry for each and every record, because each and every record can be available in any block, right? Because it is unordered. Each and every block uh, record you have to maintain uh, index table entry, so this is something called as um, secondary indexing in the sense in the primary indexing uh, you can have only one and in addition to primary indexing if you want to maintain some more indexing with respect to some other attribute the only option remains is secondary indexing you can't have more than one primary indexing or you can't have more than one clustered indexing because it is ordered only with respect to a single attribute you can order a database right so, uh, now with the respect to other attribute, the database is simply unordered and if you want to maintain indexing with respect to them also, maybe you can maintain more than one indexing and that time the only option remains is uh, the secondary indexing. So it is secondary, so in the sense it is available in addition to as primary indexing, right. 
like a secondary way of accessing the database okay anyway we will see more examples still if uh, you are confused please watch the upcoming videos yeah that about it this is so the speciality is here we maintain index table entry per each and every database record database record here we are maintaining it per each and every block here we are maintaining with respect to each and every cluster see that is a different okay anyway with the examples everything will be clear so this is a main classification we are going to see so here i just gone through uh, the what is indexing so indexing are something we are providing extra so it is an auxiliary access structure or an additional access structure to files with some primary organization so primary organization is something we discussed so far the unordered heap organization ordered organization or he hash that is already there but it is something we are providing extra right and why we are using it is to speed up the retrieval so it is something like this once you have something like that uh, for making any search you don't have to go through uh, the entire records here right so if you want you can apply a binary search here because the uh, entries are sorted with respect to employee number and if there is any uh, query Mm, with respect to this employee number you can do binary search, uh, search here but you know when you are looking at uh, index table it's uh, first of all the number of entries is small and also the size of the entry is very small so index table is going to spread across few number of blocks compared to this um, original file so first you can do a binary search in the index table and that will uh, involve few number of block access and then you are going to get the uh, pointer directly and then you can directly access it so you don't have to do any searching over the actual file the searching you will do just in the index table just like uh, to uh, identify some information just think about uh, the difficulty that you are having when you are going through all pages and you are finding a particular keyword but if that index table is maintained you can just look at the index table and you can go to that page something like that is happening here okay hope it is clear so it is going to speed up the retrieval access right so they are actually additional files right if you are looking at index table that is also a database file but it is not the actual file this is a actual file so for making uh, efficient access to the actual file this is something maintained as an additional file uh, right mm, on the disk that provide a secondary access bar so indexing is providing uh, a secondary uh, way to access the information so they enable efficient access basically any field of the file uh, you can make that indexing with respect to any field it can be a key attribute it can be non key attribute it can be ordered or unordered so that's what's in it a variety of indexes are possible and each of them uses a particular data structure to speed up yeah, something we will see one by one and if you are lo looking at indexing uh, the most relevant type of indexes are uh, based on ordered files something i already told you uh, so typically um, the files are ordered and uh, then you can think about uh, something called a single level indexing so so far uh, in single level indexing in the sense just a single index table but now for the index table itself you can maintain another index table right so like that we have something called as multi level indexing the the type of indexing i explained so far like uh, i just given you an overview like primary secondary clustering these are all single level indexing and we have multi level indexing also so what is going to happen is for this index table itself which is divided into different block just treating it like the original file we will maintain one more index table with a few number of entries again for that we will maintain un until the entire index table fit into a single block we will continue that process this is what we call as multi level indexing okay yeah that is also available and the variation of this multi level indexing is what is this b3 and b plus c which you might study in data structure classes and here we will see this the them as a indexing uh, technique okay index can also be constructed based on uh, yeah hashing based indexing something uh, what we discussed in extendable hashing hope you uh, please watch the previous video you will get a feel about it and this is one of the popular file organization uh, being used by ibm say so indexed sequential access method and you can see it is something like i think uh, the primary indexing single level primary indexing and a slight variation of it is what is used here okay yeah this is something popularly used in most of the databases so that's why that name is highlighted uh, then single level ordered index analogy is our textbook analogy the idea behind an ordered index is similar to uh, behind the index used in a textbook okay you can just read it which lists the important terms and the page number otherwise you have to go through the pages and that's it it is the same thing now with the help of indexing you are achieving okay now single level and multi level indexing uh, that is something i already told you so if you are looking at a multi level indexing typically it will have a tree based structure uh, we will see okay anyway in the upcoming video we will see them uh, we will visualize them in detail yeah 
so typically we have an indexing uh, attribute or field with respect to which we are maintaining that index table right uh, so along with that we have uh, some uh, list of pointers also that is going to point to the block containing that information uh, now uh, single level ordered index as well as single level unordered index right so there are ordered index if you are looking we have a primary indexing main classification uh, and we have the clustered index okay and i already told you the primary indexing is something maintained on the ordered key attribute but he, the here it is ordered but no not a key okay so keep that in mind so that is clustered index uh, now the files are uh, called a clustered file also you typically we will get a cluster of information right uh, so see this is very important i don't know whether you uh, followed this or not the, we can have at most one physical ordering field right so with respect to single field only you can order the files so with respect to that field you can maintain either primary index or clustered index provided that particular ordered attribute is a key or a non key so it, at any time it is not possible for you to have more than one primary index or more than one clustered index or you you can't have a primary and clustered index together any one of them will exist at any time right because it is based on an ordered attribute but if you are looking at the second index which is uh, simply um, based on a non ordering attribute with respect to any attribute because other than a single attribute with respect to which you ordered the file all other attrib attributes are unordered right so with respect to any one of them you can maintain secondary index so you can have a several secondary indexes in a database table so that is very important but in this primary or clustered index you can have a unique one okay so typically that is a practice we will maintain a primary most of the cases uh, sometimes clustered also any one of them we will maintain and depending on the uh, type of uh, queries coming uh, for making uh, so if there is a frequent query say with respect to department number or name of the employee or department uh, manager assistant or something then with respect to that attribute alone you can maintain a secondary index okay so that uh, it will speed up such queries so depending on the application we will decide how many secondary indexes are needed and all okay anyway all those things you can try primary indexes uh, typically you can see the index file the final index file that we are getting something uh, like this so this index table is uh, basically what they called as index file okay because uh, even though it is looking like a table uh, basically it is a collection of records and that is what we call as a file okay so we can call it as an index file and you can see this is having fi fixed length uh, information because uh, that uh, indexing field uh, some nine byte fixed pointer fixed okay so uh, this is our index file and see and this index file is also ordered i mean 100 200 like that informations are coming yeah something anyway 900 whatever it is so this is also ordered so for this one if you want you can maintain a primary index further okay <laughs> something like that so that is what is happening in multi level indexing so if you are looking at the primary index you can see that it is uh, that index uh, or the index table is going to be an ordered file of records of fixed length right uh, so that about it and act like an access structure to efficiently search the data the first field mm, is what our uh, key attribute and the second field is a pointer to the disk block containing that particular record okay and there is one index entry you can see for each uh, in the index file for each block for this is what i told you each block there is one index table in entry and the first record in the block uh, is typically uh, we call it as the anchor record okay first record in a block you can call it as somewhere it is written anchor record and we are going to maintain an index table entry corresponding to the key uh, i mean attribute value of this anchor record and typically you can see a key value followed by a pointer this is the um, structure of each entry in the index table right and just read it uh, what can be this uh, key value and pointer so it can be the physical address of the block or it can be the physical address of the actual record okay so typically we will maintain that x as the uh, pointer to the block because if we are looking at block pointer and record pointer typically for pointing record we need more number of bits right because uh, in our example also we have thousand uh, records uh, but there is only uh, nine blocks so block pointer will be typically something like to out, uh, uniquely identify nine people i just need four bits but for thousand people i need uh, some uh, 10 bits uh, around right so typically uh, you got it right so block pointer and record pointer the size of uh, okay if you have any confusion let me explain here itself mm, so what i'm uh, trying to say uh, there are 900 records so in, uh, we have if you have 900 records uh, then the record pointer let me write it as record pointer is typically 
how many bits are needed to identify uniquely these 900 people right something like this this many bits are needed right so it is around 1024 so this will be something like a 10 10 bits where if you are looking at a block pointer block pointer you can see this 900 records of 90 80 byte whatever it is you can see it is spread across nine blocks right why nine blocks you can see this is going to contain 100 uh, i mean blocking factors 100 records per block another 100 and 100 so that in nine blocks all these 900 records will fit and in that case the uh, block pointer will be something like uh, out of ni this nine uh, you want to identify one uniquely so you can see it is something like a four bits okay so you can the conclusion is the block pointer and record pointer block pointer is always uh, smaller in size than the record pointer so the index table entry typically we want uh, smaller in size so always we will try to maintain block pointer there but if you want you can maintain record pointer also so that the size of the index table entry uh, index table is going to be a little bit high in the sense everywhere instead of four bits you have to store that uh, 10 bits something okay i'm just giving an example but in reality these bits are uh, very huge and all okay and that time it is something that matters okay so that is our uh, typical thing okay uh, hope you got it but uh, when you are storing the block pointer you have an additional effort within the block there will be 100 record and there you have to do some another linear search or binary search to locate the actual record where for example if i have a search uh, for a database record with employee number as 105 you know that it is here so you will trace this record you will come here and then you have to trace whether this 105 is here in it so you can as it is sorted you can apply binary search further or if it is not sorted you can try uh, some linear search or something so that uh, additional effort we are having but typically we will uh, to un uh, analyze this complexity and all we will simply count this uh, number of block accesses required okay that's all so those things are explained here you just uh, read it uh, so it can be for yes so now this is uh, something similar i explained to you i taken that employee number as the indexing attribute but here uh, what they done is uh, they taken uh, the name attribute as the primary yield in the sense they have the requirement that the name attribute should be unique so here it is assumed that name is unique oh it, uh, you can have uh, such a constraint in the database no issue okay so so that you know uh, this is an angle record and for each angle record we are maintaining a pointer and the first field Aaron uh, is kept here and for the second block Adams is kept here and the corresponding pointers are correctly maintained hope you understand a similar example I already taken and you know this uh, typically if you are looking at the particular index table uh, the original file the in addition to name social security number birth date job salary there are many things so this is of huge size but this is of smaller size so that is what makes this attractive okay and uh, that example you can just go through here we have that ordering and key attribute that is the name with respect to that we maintain so each uh, index table entry if you are looking the first anchor record value Aaron uh, and uh, the pointer to that block one similarly um, Adams and uh, pointer to that block two and block three Alexander and corresponding so the total number of entries in the index table is same as the number of disk blocks okay and we have this anchor record this is what I said the very first one or the block anchor uh, for that the corresponding value is what is maintained in the index table and typically there is another classification of indexing called dense versus sparse indexing so dense in the sense uh, it is what i can tell you uh, it is very dense right <laughs> there are many entries in the index table something uh, i explained here so what i want to highlight is mm, okay you can see in case of unordered index right unordered index are typically dense and ordered index are typically sparse as you already know uh, sparse index in the sense the number of entries in the index table is less uh, relatively less dense more here you are maintaining an index table entry for each and every record there are thousand record in our example but if you are looking at number of blocks or number of unique name that will be much lesser than this uh, number of records so then uh, so that in that way the number of entries in the index table will be less when it comes to any ordered index so we can call them as sparse index in the sense the number of entries in the index table is relatively less and if it is more relate is a relative parameter only dense index so whether it is primary index or say clustered index they are sparse in nature generally secondary index is typically dense in nature okay yes that classification and definition everything given dense index and index table entry for each and every search key 
uh, and uh, sparse in the sense uh, index entry is uh, for some some fields okay in the sense some blocks i mean number of blocks is less right or um, number of unique names so you can see that the primary index that we explained so far is uh, sparse or non dense since it includes an entry for per block only okay so yeah uh, now <laughs> Uh, what about the file sp uh, the file space requirement uh, that you already seen Th there are few fewer index entries than uh, i mean compared to the thousand records and uh, nine blocks only so in the index table there are only nine entries right it is less second thing if you are looking at a particular entry that is also small in size okay so number of entries are small first of all and a single entry uh, is of some 15 byte hope you remember i like, taken like a 9 plus 6 byte okay uh, where uh, the original record was something like 80 always take some example and relate these things okay so therefore a binary search uh, you can proceed uh, because already the in whether it is the index table or in the or it is the actual file both are ordered so in both case uh, without indexing also you can apply binary search but with indexing when you apply binary search and the number of search will be much less because index table is going to spread across very small number of blocks compared to the original file okay now this is how you are typically searching the example hope you remember 105 and it was between 100 uh, as a key value and 200 as a key value and you are going to uh, take the pointer corresponding the key value k of i that is p of i so the particular record is going to be available there so let me uh, keep it here right uh, so that you can relate this example so what i was telling let me use a different color and i will just uh, for you to remember this example is what i taken when i was searching something like this okay so for that i taken that's all and uh, what I done is the uh, block pointer correspond to the index table entry 100 is what I take up. Okay. Uh, so, uh, that about it. That is what is saying. To retrieve a record, uh, you do like that. Fine. Uh, now, mm, what about the difficulty we are facing here? Uh, see, in the primary indexing, uh, you know, see, when I want to insert something in between, uh, because the files are ordered with respect to a particular attribute, and with respect to that attribute, you maintain that index table. Right. So, definitely if you uh, are inserting a new record, you have to be careful. You have to maintain that ordering here. So, when you maintain that ordering, definitely this anchor record, everything may change. For example, suppose I am inserting something something in between, you know, these records have to be shifted down, right? So, that this anchor record will change accordingly, this uh, index table entry also will change. So, that kind of a difficulty we are having. But typically, we will uh, try to handle it with the, with the help of overflow uh, record because if I want to insert something within this block in between instead of keeping it there and uh, disturbing everybody else we can maintain an overflow block and there you just uh, keep such extra entry so if it is not available here go to overflow block uh, okay so uh, try the information from there and what i can say so typically we maintain overflow blocks uh, to keep that extra records which are coming out of order i mean i want to insert somebody and they are supposed to be here in this block in order but uh, without overflow block you have to shift everybody down and accordingly you have to insert in between so that the anchor record will change this index table entry everything you have to change now to avoid it keep them in an overflow block but how many overflow block we will maintain so those things are going to be a problem but but you can do there are periodic file organization and when you, when you are doing that along with the I mean all these overflow block together you handle at, at um, but we are not doing it in between but we, we will postpone right we will keep everything uh, which are coming out of order uh, in the overflow block but after uh, in some periodic time we will uh, reorganize the entire file so that all these overflow entries will come into the correct place in the original file and accordingly we can modify the index table also something uh, like that yeah so that is the first difficulty we are facing so insertion and similar problem will occur when it comes to deletion also some empty space will create in between and these things we already uh, discussed uh, when it comes to primary file organization hope you remember about deletion marker so just uh, simply keep that flag uh, updated and saying that this is not a valid entry it is something deleted but we are not physically deleting it from the secondary memory okay but again we will do everything during file reorganization uh, time and the concept of um, unordered overflow file we are keeping in addition and there may be list of such overflow block and uh, you can um, either keep it as it is or if you want uh, periodically uh, you can uh, reorganize everything okay so this is typically how we are dealing anyway this overflow block or deletion marker if any doubt you can watch previous video it will be clear something i already explained there 
and here we have a problem on indexing so typically you can expect similar problems anyway i just taken that screenshot from the textbook that's why it's looking like this the question is somewhere spread across this is a question plus solution okay anyway we will take the parameters and we will try to see how this kind of a problem can be approached uh, maybe hmm. or you can just read it yourself i may take some standard problem say that, that is being asked in uh, some previous year exam okay and uh, we'll explain to you how this problem can be approached okay so here there are many things uh, given like uh, what is uh, the we have a file with uh, uh, some example i taken like thousand records here they are taking some thirty thousand or sorry three lakhs three lakhs record and here and the size of a block we want to know uh, so that we can calculate the blocking factor right uh, how many records per block and those things then how many blocks are needed and how many searches are needed <laughs> so like that okay we just try to uh, see this example i may explain this one or some other example in the subsequent video yeah thank you for watching